What's going on everybody, Resale Rabbit here. It is still February 1st. You saw the other video from today, cleaning out the firefighter unit. This is the other storage unit I bought. I spent 20, let me do some math here because I am so bad at doing math on the spot. 2505 was my total spend minus 250. So it's 2255 is what I spent on this. Quick little note, I'm sitting in traffic on the way here and all of a sudden I see police cars flying up behind me as I'm sitting at a light with their lights on and then they turn behind me further back. And then I see another one coming towards me from in front and turned in front of me. As I pull around the corner, there's like five more. Apparently the gas station that I was sitting right next to, it just got robbed. So that's fun. Anyways, so this unit, I was planning on buying in advance. Um, I brought five grand with me to buy this unit because I was told, they actually called me direct and said, hey, you might want this one. There's a forklift in this unit and pallets of product. He said it looks like they were trying to start a business similar to yours. So I thought, yes, I will buy this one. I'm a little bummed out because right before, the unit right before this, I bid it up to 1800 and that's when I dropped out and I wish I would have kept going. It was chuck full of fishing stuff, like in a, so much fishing stuff and fishing stuff sells really well. Um, there was a gun safe in there that was probably empty, but still the safe was probably worth couple hundred bucks um, and it was full but I didn't want to spend it and I would have brought it up to 2500 but I didn't want to spend too much because I needed to make sure I had cash for this unit unfortunately well fortunately I guess this unit went cheap and I should have bought the other one but oh well it happens better safe than sorry so this is a big unit and whoever has the unit two doors over is here so I'm probably not going to do a ton of talking in there but I'll show you what it looks like Look how big these units are. For reference, those are normal units, so it's quite a bit taller. Um, it's the one on the end there. Let's go ahead and take a look. I actually haven't touched a single thing in there. I quick locked the door. I forgot to bring my locks, so I had to run to the truck, grab locks, and lock it up, and then race to the next unit that was going up for sale. So I haven't touched a single thing in this unit yet. I barely even looked inside, so this should be interesting. I'm not cleaning it out today. I did bring the trailer, just in case there's something I want to grab, but... Um, I'm probably going to be renting this one because the forklift is probably going to need some work before we can move it. For reference, a forklift isn't something you can just throw in your snowmobile trailer or car hauler. These things are like 10,000 pounds and I'm not exaggerating. My forklift is like 900 or 90, what was it? 9,500, 9,050, something like that. You need basically a wrecker, a flatbed that picks up cars. You need something like that to move it. And to get it on there, it probably needs to run. Odds are there are no keys for it, so we're automatically gonna have to replace the ignition and hopefully it runs otherwise. It sounds like the guy was using it, so it probably won't take much to get it going. Maybe we'll get lucky and find the keys in it. Maybe I'll drive it over Tower Drive Bridge to get to uh, the warehouse, going 10 miles an hour. Probably not gonna do that. Anyways, um, it's also leaking what looks like antifreeze shouldn't be a problem to get it going now this unit does have electricity so we can throw a torpedo heater in there and do some work on it uh to get it at least operable so we can get it on a truck and get it to the warehouse in running condition now i'll show you it in a minute it's got the long forks it looks like there are extra standard size forks too it's a bigger one and it looks like it's gas powered so it might be a more valuable forklift Running condition, I'm thinking I could probably sell for about 5000 So double my money just on the forklift if we can get it running. If it's got a cracked head or has a major issue, then a couple hundred bucks maybe. But uh, I should still do all right on the rest. Let's go look. So I just pulled this grill out so I can get into it. All right. So no key unless it's hiding somewhere in here. It is rated for 6,000 pounds. Uh, let's see. The total weight of the unit is 10,600 pounds. Um, there was, that looks like antifreeze coming off. I think it's a gas powered too, diesel powered. Um, so you can see this unit goes really far back. Right up in the front, we've got a pallet. It looks like customer returns, although there's a box of sports cards in it. Maybe something I honestly don't know. We got some tools. Doesn't look like anything too valuable. Oh, they must be getting some Target. Oh, this looks like a handy little tool. 
Uh, we got so we got some DeWalt stuff there. I just saw back here. Uh, that's got like kitchen stuff. It looks like more hand tools. What is this stroller? Who knows what we'll find in here. See, it's tough to tell if he went through this or if this is just kind of as it comes. Um, Fisher Price thing. So moving back, we got a big toolbox here. Just some hand tools, nothing special. Um, piece of furniture, looks like. There's just so much, like this is a big unit. Some Baltimore Ravens towels. Oh, I just sold one of these on eBay for 30 bucks. We got a bike. Uh, what is this? Pressure washer. Looks like some more bulk inventory back there. Some patio furniture. What in the world is this? A pallet of crystal candlesticks. So this must be like gift shop decor type stuff. And these look like he probably hasn't touched them. Here's a pallet of dishes, like dish related stuff. Looks like it might, at the very least the top is all these pictures. So I mean, I mean these two pallets I could probably get a thousand bucks for combined. We got some dishes up here, lamps. That's an empty laptop box. This looks like just some bags, some junk. Um, we've got another pallet untouched here. Can't tell, maybe shoes? More dishes maybe? Frosted clear. Might be more dishes. Oh, these are heavy. There's definitely stuff in there. Some sort of cake dish or whatever. Oh, let's see. This. Bedding. So, I mean, lots of great stuff for the warehouse sale in here. Oh, uh, we've got another. This looks like a brand new bike. I don't know bikes. I don't know if this is a good one or not. There's the logo. There you go. Oceanside. This, for all I know, could be a cheap Walmart bike. I have no idea. Handcrafted, hand, hand crank ice cream maker. That's probably what's in here. Here we've got a pallet. Looks like glassware. Some more large furniture type stuff. Um, what is this? Shelves maybe? I don't know. That looks like used pre-owned stuff. Probably kept some of his own stuff in here. A beautiful mattress. Punching bag. So this, oh, we got a window AC unit. Yoga mat, oh, I think that's an anti-fatigue mat. This looks like more used stuff, probably just own personal storage couple of pallets here um, but if you look at the forks ah, maybe they're not long forks you come out to here so these might actually be standard forks on it it's tough to say but then right out the door here we get another set of forks so I think we'll do pretty well with this unit let me tool around here oh it's got a cup holder on here Fancy. Let's see if maybe there's keys to this somewhere. Um, otherwise, that's going to need to be replaced. And I don't know how labor intensive that is. I don't think that's going to be too bad. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be keys in here. How many hours are on this thing? I can't see at this angle. Is that 954 or is it? Wow. So, not a lot of hours on it. The key is gonna be the big part. The key, we'll be finding the key. Seeing if we can get this thing going. 
I know in my forklift, the key, the ignition isn't hard to replace. So I can't imagine it's gonna be too bad on here. Probably have to open this up and then it probably just pops out of there. It's not like a car, it's much simpler. I'm thinking I'm gonna dig through these toolboxes a little bit and see if the keys might be in there. That would probably be the, the big place to look. It does have a light switch. No keys sitting on top of it, but the lights aren't turning on. So I don't know if there's power here. If they did have the power shut off, I'm sure I could ask them to turn it on for me. If we need electricity to uh, do a little bit of work to this thing. Fuses, I'm assuming. I'm just kind of looking around to see if the keys are hooked on it somewhere. Okay. So that means the battery has a charge still. Sitting out in this cold. It's a good sign. Uh, it's not going to open just by pulling it. So if the battery has a charge, that means we should be pretty good. You never know. Maybe he just overfilled something. That's what that leak is. It's got the oversized tires, which look to be in... Eh, maybe they need to be replaced, but... That's, I, I won't replace them. So I guess ultimately we're just hoping we find the key. Um, that's pretty much it. If we find the key, I can call a wrecker and have this brought to the warehouse rather quickly. So I looked this up, it's just a Walmart bike, 218 bucks at Walmart, but bikes are pretty hard to find. I might save this since it is new until spring. Maybe I can get 200 bucks for it. You know, I dug through a few boxes, found some odds and ends, nothing too exciting. I didn't really dig through these boxes a whole lot. Uh, just clothing, probably just his personal stuff. I mean, these pallets, there's one, two, three, four pallets here that practically untouched. I could probably get a decent amount for them. Let's see if there's any info on this paper here. So these are Bed Bath & Beyond pallets. Inmar is the um, the company that handled it. Worth note, uh, that's the company that owns Smart Lots. And if you remember, they did a sponsored video for me. Um, I'm not seeing really any information on the buyer or shipping or anything. Looks like they paid 411 for freight. Well, that says truckload, so I don't think that's it. Oh, this is this is going to Inmar, so this is the slip that would have been on it when the supplier received it. Uh, this, I think it just says what's on it. There's another one here. RTV, return to vendor. Yeah, not a lot of information. There's another one on here. Looks like it's just a packing slip or a manifest. See, I'm trying to find... Let's take more pictures. I'm trying to find the info on the person who owned this. Because, you know, if I offered him 200 bucks for the key, I'm sure he would happily do that. Unless he wants to stick it to me. Um... Because that key is worthless to him. And it'll save me some money and hassle on working uh, on working on the uh, the forklift. What's the date on this? Expired 17. So it looks like he probably hasn't touched this stuff in a while. You know, you pretty much never see um, stuff come on pallets that is three years expired. So at the very least, this pallet, or this box probably hasn't been touched for a while. I'm just gonna throw in these away. Yeah, expired almost almost four years ago. What we have up here? Just more odds and ends. Uh, silver polish, just some coffee there. I think pretty much any consumables I'm just gonna throw away because you never know how they were stored in here. and. What not? 
Uh, let's see, we got some drapes, cover for a, um, a what you call it, a stroller. Here we've got a lamp. This says damaged, no box. So some more that tableware. Uh, looks like some sort of cover or um, not a cover, like a mattress pad, uh, foot bath down there. I think I pretty much saw all there is to see for the most part. So this box looks like a lot of bedding and stuff. Some of it brand name, you know, probably also from Bed Bath & Beyond. So this box was on top of it. I just showed you this one, it looks like all clothing. I bet this is clothing out of Bed Bath & Beyond. Any tags? Don't see any tags on that. Well, this one has the buttons attached. Well, I'm not seeing any tags on this either. Here's a tag. Uh, well, kind of a tag. I'm thinking he had this stuff in garage sales. I think that was his price on it, which is a shame because I think that is going to leave a residue. Maybe not. Here we've got some coveralls, insulated coveralls. I don't see a price tag on this. So maybe it's a mix. You know, here's something. This Puma jacket has that tag there. It doesn't have the original price, but might be a decent amount of new stuff in here as well. Um, so I'm really gonna need to rethink every box. I think I already went through this. Every box that has clothing, we're really gonna wanna look through to see if it's, you know, just this guy's personal stuff or if it's, you know, like liquidated merchandise. Even stuff like this. You know, it looks used, but maybe not. That one definitely looks used. Oh yeah. I'm sure he was, I mean, if he's a reseller, I'm sure he was buying stuff at thrift stores and garage sales too, and flipping it. So there's probably gonna be some used stuff here. We've got, uh, looks like a sweeper. Elevated toilet seat. Probably a fan. Or... Oh, wow. Four slot toaster with this, probably for like an egg or something. More Bed Bath and Beyond type stuff dishes, linens. There's gonna be some good stuff in here. Um, I I don't see how I can lose money on this one. You know, every box has more stuff. I don't know if this is his office supplies or if it came on a pallet, but I mean, this has to be. I don't know. Pressure washers. It's a Honda. That's got to be a good brand. This must be at least two hundred bucks. We should have no problem getting a hunter for the bike. This one is a used bike, but you know, maybe 20, 30 bucks. AC unit, 50 to 100, this, once it gets warm. The tools, there's gotta be three, 400 in tools here. I mean, it's older stuff, but it is still DeWalt in Milwaukee. Maybe I overestimated that a little bit. Um, look, there's even a Dyson, it's a toy. Um, you know, just random stuff in here. You know, stuff like this, warehouse sale. Probably get three, four bucks for it. It's got a red tag. Target switched to yellow quite a while ago, so. Um, you know, stuff like this. All of the, the glassware in the back. You know, at least 500 bucks a skid. That stroller looks pretty nice. Might be new. You know, maybe a hundred bucks for that. If it's used, maybe 30. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, just stuff like that. Here, let me zoom you in a little bit here. It's either a blank, oh, it's a mattress pad. That's 20, 30 bucks. So, the forklift is what really determines what we make on it, and it's gonna be a real pain to clear this out before I get the forklift out. So I may just leave it until then. So a buddy of mine was here, he drove past and saw me, and he found this, $100 camera. Oh, and a loaded gun. So that'll be fun. So not as exciting. This thing feels like a gun. It looks like a gun. It's got the weight of a gun, but it's not a gun. Uh, if I can get this open. Apparently I can't do this with one hand. It definitely needs to be oiled, but hold on. So first off, these are the bullets. And you know, that was my first red flag. This does not even look like a blank. I thought maybe it's a starter pistol or something. Because the other thing we saw, the barrel's closed off and it says made in Japan. We looked it up. It's a like a prop gun, like they'd use in a movie or something. Everything feels, looks just like a gun. You know, it's it's basically a gun, but it's not a gun. I looked it up. There's a symbol on the snub nose. It's a little bit shorter. It's selling for about 550 bucks. So I don't know. Maybe I can get about 500 bucks for it. And then this camera, good 100 bucks all day long. Um, what else? Oh, I found something else exciting over here. Well, there's this. This is a whole bunch of drawers. I think it's for cigars. That's my guess. And where did I put the other thing? I set it down somewhere. No, I don't know where I set it. I might not be able to show it to you. Ugh, climb over this stuff. Well, it was a Zune. It was in the box. The box is pretty roughed up. But uh, Zunes have a decent following. For those of you who don't, I don't know where I put that thing. For those of you who don't know, a Zune is like an iPod, but uh, made by Microsoft. Not as, uh, it wasn't popular at the time, but it does have a following. Should be, I don't know, a hundred bucks or so. I don't know where I set that now, but it's around here somewhere. Um, those are the three exciting finds. So I think that might be where I leave you. I have no idea where I put that. Maybe you see it on the video and you're screaming, hey, rabbit is right over there. I don't know. So anyways, that's where I'm gonna leave you. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, if I find anything else, maybe I'll update you on another video. I'm sure I'll find more. And you're probably gonna see a lot of that dishes and glasses and stuff in our next warehouse sale video. So that's all I got. Bye. So a quick update is the next day. I bought an ignition, ordered it, and actually the key worked for it. Uh, so I didn't even need to swap out the ignition here. Same key, you can see there's not really anything special to it. Um, pulled it out, it was running, well, it actually didn't start. I had to go get jumper cables and I jump started it and it seemed to be running good. Then I lifted it up, I was gonna take some pictures to sell and that fell off. So I was able, it was just hanging like that. I lowered it back down and it was up to about here. So me being the genius that I am, I tried to lift it back on. The whole thing just collapsed and I'm very thankful that didn't land on me because there might not be any more resale rabbit videos if that happened. But also the engine died, so it's not starting and it's outside. So I've got a company coming out to take a look at it. Hopefully it's not too expensive and hopefully we can get it back up and going. We're probably not gonna be able to fix that without another forklift. But if we can at least get it moving, then we can either just shove it back in here or have it towed to the warehouse where we can do most of the work. Um, shame there weren't jumper cables in here. I had to go buy some, but hopefully, you know, I'm at a storage facility. I can't just leave this outside. Hopefully we can get it going fairly, fairly easily. But, uh, you know, she started up, she was running nice for a little bit. The battery is under here. Let me pop this open and I'll show you what that looks like. Under here. So, uh, yeah, hopefully there aren't any major issues. It does have gas. It's low on gas, but there is gas in there. So that could be the issue too, but I doubt it. So anyways, that's where we're at right now. So I've got two techs working on the forks of the forklift over there. They sent me to go get about five gallons of diesel because they can't carry it in their vans. So 
went to a gas station. They, they told me, you know, any gas station that sells diesel should sell the cans. Went to a gas station, they don't sell the cans. So I went down the road to an auto parts store, also doesn't sell gas cans. So now I guess I'm going back to Harbor Freight. Hopefully they're still working on that those forks when I get back because first of all, they like had to pull some strings just to get somebody out there. So obviously their day is pretty busy. I don't want them waiting around, but also, um, AutoZone, no, I'll go to Harbor Freight. Also, I'm, build, I'm being built by the hour as they're sitting there. So if they're just waiting around for me to get gas, that's you know gonna be costly. I'm sure two techs aren't cheap. So hopefully Harbor Freight has gas cans. And then I still need to swing by a gas station and fill it up. This is turning into a, a lot longer than I was planning. All right, it's the next day, we're back. I grabbed some tools and my new diesel can, uh, as well as some other tools and more tools. I'm gonna bring those back today. I've got a tow man on his way here to pick this up. Uh, I better take this out, it might fly out on the freeway. So he's gonna pick this up and I'm gonna have him grab the forks too. I was gonna throw them in the back of the truck, but holy crap, are those heavy. The grill, you remember there's a grill in there. Um, I brought that home yesterday, or not home, I brought it to the warehouse yesterday because I couldn't fit it back in there. Um, I guess I did bring it home too. I was too lazy to get it out of the truck. So I just left it in the truck all day and night. But, um, so that, that's actually gonna clear out quite a bit of this unit here. The forks are actually, they don't fit this. So I don't know why they, this person had them. However, the forklift techs looked at him. They said, this is a good brand, um, Cascade. And he said he's going to uh, measure them to tell me what class they are. I guess there are four different classes of forks. Um, that way it'll make it a little easier for me to sell. And then once this gets, is stuff falling off the building here? Once this gets dropped off at the warehouse in a little bit, the techs will come back out and uh, get back to work on it. They put a chain on here to keep the mast up so it's off the ground. Hopefully it's off the ground enough. Yeah, it should be. Uh, but that way it's off the ground um, and it can be towed. And he did say that that was an OSHA approved way to do that. So I'm, I'm just kind of taking their word on that, but we should have this up and running by the end of the day and then we'll get it listed for sale. At least that's the plan. Um, they were also saying, I was thinking three to 4,000. They were saying that I may have, I may be underpricing a little bit because diesel forklifts are, um, kind of the, I think he called it the upper echelon of forklift. So maybe I can get more, who knows? Anyways, that's where we're at now. Just waiting on the tow man to come. He said around 11, he will be here and it is 10:53, So it's going to be a little bit yet. Um, and that's it. I thought, you know, I was halfway here and I thought, man, I should have just brought the trailer. I could have loaded some more stuff up, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm going to want a box truck anyways, because I've got pallets that are wrapped here and everything. It's going to be easier than using a trailer. Uh, I think I'm blocking the next space over. I'm going to have to move the truck. He's all loaded up. I don't know if you can see him pulling out back there. Um, bring it to the warehouse. Seemed pretty easy. The chain fell off that's holding the mast up. Uh, when it hit the angle uh, to get it on the back of the truck, it pushed the, the mast up a little bit, which, you know, the tension was lost and the chain fell off. So um, that'll be fun, but shouldn't be too big of a deal. We should be able to uh, just use the other forklift to lift those up a little bit and reattach the chain if it's in the way to unload. And we're at the warehouse and the forklift has arrived. 